What's up guys, today was another amazing funny day for Twitter as CEO Elon Musk got in an open argument with an employee on Twitter and after that decided to fire said employee <laughs> right on Twitter in public for everyone to see. I have the tweets right here that caused this developer to get fired. It started with Elon Musk apologizing for Twitter being super slow in many countries. Apparently the home timeline wasn't being rendered fast enough and Elon Musk thought this was because of 1000 poorly batched RPCs. An RPC is a remote procedure call. It's basically a computer program that calls on other remote procedures. So the developer says, I have spent around six years working on Twitter for Android and I can say this is wrong. Ooh, that's a pretty significant jab that this employee is taking at his boss. <laughs> Some people were replying to this, adding more fuel to the fire. This person said that he's been a developer for 20 years and I can tell you as a domain expert here, you should inform your boss privately. He does make a fair point, attacking your boss out in public in social media. When is that ever a good idea? When is, when is the boss ever gonna be like, you know what, I'm very happy you embarrassed me in front of everyone. I'm glad that you showed everyone that I'm incompetent and perhaps I can't run this company very well thank you for doing that here's a raise no one will ever do that that's not how the real world works so it's probably better to discuss these matters in private this guy also replied with this kind of attitude you probably don't want this guy on your team to which elon musk replied He's fired. Now, some people think that this developer was just playing the corporate game. He was actually trying to get fired in order to get a severance package. You know, you would get a couple of months of pay. So he could go on paid vacation pretty much and find a new job in the meantime. As an experienced developer at Twitter, a lot of other companies will be very excited to have you on board on their team. So this seems like a pretty strategic move to get rid of the 60 hour work weeks of of which 40 needs to be on the office because Elon Musk doesn't want their Twitter team to be working remotely. They want them all in the office 40 hours a week and probably a severance package in its contract mixed with that he cannot be denied unemployment. He worked six years on the Twitter app, probably looking at significantly more money working somewhere else as a senior developer. You see this a lot in tech companies that programmers leave their job after two or three years because they can get a better offer somewhere else. So yeah, you see this kind of stuff in tech companies all the time. And I think the employee here got the long end of the stick. It would make most sense to see him as the winner of this interaction, getting his severance package and being able to escape the chaos and horrible things that are going on at Twitter at the moment. The working conditions at Twitter seem pretty dreadful, especially for me since I'm a big fan of remote work, you know, working from home. I couldn't imagine in this day and age that you would have to spend 40 hours a week in the office. I think it's pretty outdated. You know, we have the technology for most jobs to work at home. At the end of the day, it all revolves around your employer and if your employer trusts its employees or not. Some employers are very skeptical and rather have their employees at the office the entire time so that they can keep an eye on them and make sure that they are ultimately productive well guess what if your employees are at the office 40 hours a week in front of the pc with an uncomfortable chair they're going to be less happy and if your employees are less happy they're also going to be less productive over time perhaps you can squeeze a few more hours out of them in the short term but in the long term they're going to get burned out they're going to be unhappy unmotivated they're going to find new employment and then you have to start all over again with new employees so i think elon musk is perhaps being a bit too harsh for the twitter employees he's firing pretty much everyone and the people who can stay they are overworked they have to work insane hours and be incredibly productive all the time and this is causing employees to find very creative ways in which to get fired, get the severance packages and just leave to another company with better working conditions. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think Twitter can dig themselves out of this hole that they dug themselves? Or do you think that they're gonna keep hitting lower lows until they hit rock bottom and Twitter cannot be salvaged anymore? I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and check out the playlist in the description for more videos like this one. Until next time, later.